Hello all, welcome to Tukara. My name is Sadat Bedi and the topic for today's discussion is Bar and its types. About its history, basic definitions, types of bar, various sections of the bar, bar equipments and in the end we will be seeing a basic bar layout. The if we talk about the history of the bar, it was it first came into existence almost 170 years ago in Great Britain, which is also known as the United Kingdom. It was invented by I. K. Brunel, who was a British engineer. The first bar which was set up to serve alcohol was at the Great Western Hotel in London, and today it is known as the Hilton L. Pellington. So if we talk about a basic definition. Uh, bar is a place which serves both soft and alcoholic beverages including draft beers, bottled beers, wines, spirits and cocktails. The term bar actually specializes for the counter on which drinks are served. It is also for the method which is, which is used to serve the guests on the counter or the customer. Then what is a barman or a bartender? He can be called as the barman also and the bartender also. So, a barman is a person who serves the drinks, whatever drinks are ordered to him, from a raised counter in a bar, pub, tavern or a similar establishment. The bartender can be an employee of the particular outlet or he can also be the owner of that particular establishment. Uh, in western countries, in Europe, most of the bars, bartenders are the owners of that particular establishment. Then what are the various types of bars? Uh, usually bars are classified into two basic categories, dis display bars and dispense bars. Dispense, uh, display bars are usually subcategorized into pubs, lounge bars, wine bars, cocktail bars, banquets, banquet bar and a new concept which has come up from the United States, sports bars. And in the end, we have dispense bar, which is actually there at the back of the department to uh, dispense the drinks which are ordered either for the, from the room service or for any particular restaurant like the coffee shop. Or it can be uh, like a base bar where in which you would prepare or keep all your raw materials and store all your equipments and you know you store all your ingredients and you do all the mise en place. Then moving forward here we can see the various different types of bars which are there. In the first photograph we can see that there are almost you can see the bar, bar keg you have the kegs the from which the draught beer is dispensed and in the back you can see the display bar where all the bottles are displayed. It helps to the overall visual appeal of the bar. And in the second photograph, we can see a mini bar. Now, a mini bar is not, uh, you know, confined to, you know, a particular hotel. It is present in almost all hotel categories, depending upon which category it belongs to. So, it has a variety of beverages from spirits, beers, aerated waters, sodas, soft drinks, right? And it also has nuts, crackers, and chocolates. And they are on chargeable basis. In the third photograph, we see a pool bar. So, if as I say, a pool bar. So, this is actually a bar which is there on the pool side. So, you know, a person is relaxing, he is swimming and he wants to, you know, have a drink. So, he can just, you know, raise his hand to the bartender and order his drink and the drink would be served to him. So, this is like a concept which is there in resort properties. All right. Then we have in the last photograph here is a mobile bar okay so this actually seems very handy this can be transported from one place to the other a bartender can actually you know keep his drinks at one particular place and then he can move them as per requirement then we have parts of the bar the front bar back bar and the under bar the front bar is the one in this photograph in which we see the stools where the guest sits down and we see the counter as well on which the drinks are dispensed to him. Then we also can see the back bar which has all the display. It's also called the display bar in which we have 
all the drinks are you know showed whatever brands are served for various spirits liquors liqueurs are kept in this particular area it forms a beautiful display and uh, it also helps in upselling then we have the underbar which is actually not visible to the guest it is like the workstation the area in which the guest the bartender prepares all the drinks for the guest right and all the requirements like the fridge or the dishwasher all those things are kept in that particular area so these are the parts of the bar then a few equipments if we talk about we have in this photograph we can see a various equipments that are used in the bar for a, for a daily basis just to name a few we have the boston shaker cost cocktail shaker bar spoon strainer blender drink mixer right then we have the peg measures we have ice buckets then we have the wine holder then we have the lemon squeezers so we have straws there are a number of equipments which are used in the bar on a daily basis and they help in the overall operations from day to day they are actually a main support system for that particular bar that is the reason that the bar has to be very well stocked and has to be well maintained and, and, and all these equipments have to be properly cleaned and taken care of then glassware glassware happens to be something which is used very effectively in the bar on daily basis a lot of drinks like signature cocktails have the glasses also which are mentioned for them right so a martini vodka martini served in the martini glass right a red wine served in the red wine glass champagne is served in the champagne flute or the champagne saucer beer is served in the beer kegs or the beer mugs or the beer tankers whatever is available in that particular establishment so each beverage type has its own glass which is actually we could say it's synonymous to it and it it is used served in that particular glass itself right like whiskey is served in old fashion so this is a general example and there are a large variety of glasses which are available which are used and it also depends on the establishment that what kind of glasses they want to keep for their particular outlet then ingredients as i say bar ingredients these are actually those accompaniments which are used uh, for garnishes for making cocktails for making recipes on a daily basis right we are just to name a few we have olives then we have bitters bitters actually or like an angostura bitter which gives a sourness to that particular drink then we have eggs then we have fruits like oranges watermelon pineapple which are used as garnishes then we have lemon for lemon juice and also if you want to do it for a garnish for like, like in lime soda then spices mint caster sugar sauces which are famous which are used in those particular bar operations for making cocktails is tabasco and worcestershire sauce so these are all ingredients which are used on a daily basis in order to create garnishes in order to create signature recipes for cocktails mocktails right and also if they can be also be done for you know for decoration they can be used they can also be used to, for as an accompaniment right with that particular drink suppose someone orders tequila so tequila is, uh, is served with lemon wedges so lemons come into the picture so each plays a role in the day to day operations then a generic bar layout as we see here so a bar can have a, a seating area as well where people can actually sit down and relax and you know order drinks and they can you know wait uh, where the waiter would go up to them and they would actually uh, uh, order from that particular person at that table so this is how it works so a bar has a under bar a front bar and a back bar which is used for various purposes here we have a basic layout of the bar so uh, i hope this particular uh, session was good and you were, it was informative about the, uh, regarding bars so in case you thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and in the next video we'll be talking about liqueurs